Welcome back to the Insight and Manage training series. In this video, I'll be covering some QA best practices and debugging tips. Let's begin with a quick overview of a good QA process for tagging. We've covered tag creation in previous videos and discussed the different spaces normally present in an account. So let's review with QA in mind. In creating a new tag, you should be placing it into some lower environment space like dev or stage. This ought to be a location where it's safe to publish just about anything and if it has errors or breaks something, you're not going to hurt any end users. Test the tag out in a development site and make sure it's performing as expected. Once you're feeling confident that the tag is working and ready, merge it up to a stage space and publish it there so you can ensure it is in front of some other people and they aren't seeing any issues either. Then, you're finally ready to push to prod and perform post-launch testing and confirmation. Testing on any page can be made easier by some helpful browser plugins. You may recall mention of these all the way back in the very first video of the series. Pause here to go get those if you had skipped that step before. Good testing steps are important because it's unrealistic to expect any one person to do complete and robust QA on all tags and any impact they may have on the site and systems that are outside of their control. Just because your tag is working perfectly as you expect it to, doesn't mean that it didn't impact some other site feature's ability to do so as well. And if you didn't know to look for it, then it may have made it into production unchecked and caused loss of visitors or revenue. To assist with those checks, if you're not accustomed to doing so already, here are some good steps to follow. First, check if there are any JavaScript errors in the developer tools console or suppressed errors in the network log by checking for e.gif requests. Next, ensure that you are seeing a successful request and response from the tag you're checking. If you expected it to send a page view with certain data variables, ensure that they're actually collected. If you're certain that the request went out, check that the data inside of it is correct and that the request received something like a 200 OK status. Finally, if you have access, check reporting platforms to ensure that data arrived as expected. That's QA done. Now we'll talk about debugging issues and fielding claims like, your tags broke my site. That second one seems rather urgent, so we'll start there. While it's certainly possible that a tag impacts site functionality, it is less than common. Here are some steps you can take to quickly determine if the problem is coming from the tag manager. First, replicate the issue on your own machine. Not all problems occur for all users, and some only occur to users within a protected firewall like your company's. If you can't replicate the issue, it's going to be impossible to prove what's causing it or fix it. Second, use the Insight Developer Tools plugin to locally block the bootstrap on the page. This prevents all tagging from occurring. And then third, check to see if the problem still exists after blocking. If so, the problem has nothing to do with your tags. If the problem did disappear, however, at least you've confirmed that you need to dig deeper. If you weren't so lucky and confirmed that there was indeed an issue that the tagging was connected to, we'll keep moving forward. Next up, unblock the bootstrap if you still have that set. Clear your cache and cookies and reload the page. It's always good to start fresh. In the network log, confirm your bootstrap, server component, and code files are all loading into the page without issue. Next, in the network log, confirm your bootstrap, server component, and code files are all loading into the page without issue. If you're missing some tags output and data, it would certainly be explained by missing tags or code files. Next up, if you're sure the files are being served without issue, are your tags actually on the page? You can check this in the bootstrap and code files by searching for your tags code or ID. Alternatively, if your browser has a wide-reaching file search like Chrome does, you can search for your tag's ID that way and likely find it quicker. Lastly, are you seeing any e.gif or console errors or messages that might assist you in locating the problem? If your tag arrived on the page but broke during execution, you would normally find one of these somewhere and be able to use that to search for the issue. More often than not, you'll have found the issue by this step and should be digging in to fix what could be causing the problem. If you've made it this far and haven't found an issue, that means you've confirmed that all the tags are on the page and not throwing any errors that you can see. Is the problem data related? The tag is working but didn't send the data you expected? Or maybe data is missing? From this point, you're going back to good old code debugging methods like placing breakpoints, adding console log messages, because you need to confirm whether there's some sort of timing or scoping issue. This can get to be very in-depth and complicated, and it is beyond the scope of this general training video. If you found yourself here and aren't comfortable doing in-depth debugging on JavaScript code, it's time to get in touch with your Insight and contacts in the services or support groups. The end is nigh, only one video left. We're wrapping things up back in the UI and covering the reporting and user administration tools on the next video.